Hello, I'm Andrew Elysium, and we are back in Reward Needs Booze. So, what are we doing right now? Well, mostly we're just waiting for this one guy to attack us. Maybe we could put up, like, defenses beforehand, but he is just one guy, and actually we should probably check his weapon. He's all the way down here. Oh, hello there, music. Gear. Yeah. Granite Club. Poor. And he doesn't have a, uh, a personal shield. Personal shields are a new thing, by the way, in this, uh, this edition of RimWorld. Basically, you can't shoot out of them either, so they basically make melee slightly better. I think that's a comment I made in the last iteration where melee was a thing. I was like, actually, melee's really crap, because you just get shot on the way. Now, personal shields are going to make it much harder. Although, that said, when you see enemies with personal shields and decent melee weapons later in the game, I'm really afraid they're going to be OP, but... That's pretty much late game uh, Rimworld in a nutshell. It gets a little bit ridiculous. Anyway, we'll just keep moving on with the time. Keep doing all your things, people. Keep doing all your things. Why are we not getting enough power? Blocked. Oh my god, really? You're getting no power because there's a cactus there. Order. Uh, let's cut that down. Chop wood. Does that work on cacti? It does. I wonder if we get wood from it. Like, you really should just get water or something. Can I? Can anyone? Seriously? No oh, maybe no one has to chop wood? Let's check the overview. Plank cutting. Crafting. Art. Shit, let's remove art. Uh, mining, yeah, I'll put that on. Cooking, I'll put that on. Please tell me you can... Why can you not do that? Maybe if I tell them all temporarily to go to plank cutting one. I really would like that plank cut. There we go, Chris is doing it. We're suddenly making power again. That cactus won't get in the way forever. God damn it, cactus. So we're still not making enough power for the bench, are we? Sort of. Visitors are leaving, however, dude who wants to assault us is beginning his assault. I wonder if they'll walk into each other. What, Tarquin, Chris? Where is he? He's here. No, that's camels. Those are camels. Oh, here he is! Fleeing in panic. Really? Okay, well, um... Everyone get ready. The problem is Chris is fairly slow. Uh, yeah, Chris is going to get caught. Quick. 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 There we go. Chris. How's your health? Um, bruise. Scratch. Cool, we good, we good. Right, this is the point where I think we just melee beat the guy up. Like, what's his health like? Yeah, he's, he's pretty wounded. Melee attack. Melee attack. Melee attack. Captive! Right, let's look at you. So we had a look last time, we decided that he was probably a good character. Uh, he was a cave child, became a cave tender. Robad... Rodabalo... Trobo. I'm gonna call you Tro. Tro has a cooking of seven, which is nice. Medicine, really passionate, and a six. Good. Good mining as well, we could do with mining. And crafting, which is really passionate, at five. Um, we probably will go for you. Now, the thing is, we actually have to figure out where to dump you. We need to be able to wall off a little bit of this. I think we've got enough to be able to manage it. So let's go for structure, wood wall. And a wood door. And then somewhere there will be a sleeping spot. There we go. And we'll turn that onto prisoners. Yeah, I'll turn all of them onto prisoners, but it'll do. For now. We'll, we'll build the wall and then everything will be sorted. Right, so you guys can get out of the army. 
Capture. That should solve problems. Go, go, go! What's the temperature like inside? 30. Temperature use, uh, sorry, power usage is high. Yeah, I kind of expected that. We're, still, we're not even getting this place down to the temperature we want. That's fine. I like the fact we build the door before we've even built the wall. That's kind of the opposite way around the building normally works. But okay. Uh, we can turn these back to set for colonist B. There we go. And suddenly we're out of power again. The wind really is variable. I didn't I didn't like solar panels because they're variable. Now I don't like wind. I guess the point is that you're meant to have a battery. And that's meant to help, maybe. Batteries are really god-awful, but I guess they're now a mandatory kind of thing. So we'll stick a battery in. And let's actually have a look at you. Character. No, prisoner. There we go. Uh, we want a friendly chat. <laughs> a recruitment and, you know, sneezing as well, because that's the thing. Ugh. And what are your injuries like? Mm, gunshots and stuff. We could give medicine. I think maybe getting an early person is probably worth the medicine, really. The question is, do we have anyone who can... Uh, anyone who can actually do medicine? Seven. Yeah, okay. Twenty years of age. Yeah, we'll give you medicine. Or, or we won't, you know. That's cool. Let's also put a bill for food on the stove. I would like to cook a fine meal. No, okay, no one has a fine meal. Uh, we'll cook a simple meal. I'll keep four of them around until you have X. Mainly because, oh. Do until you totally have X? What's this? This is new. Oh, it sets it to 10 by default. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to keep what I normally do, which is double the amount I need. Problem is they'll go off fairly quickly. Heat wave is over. Temperature inside is getting down to a nice temperature, and outside is acceptable. Cool. Cool beans. Now, I've still got quite a lot of survival rations to do, actually, so I probably will pause this. <coughs> because people tend to want to eat survival rations at the same time, so spend... Like, they prefer to go for survival rations. Ooh, new potato sprite. Ooh, potato. Potato, potato, potato. Okay. I think we've got most of our stuff transferred now. We're making a decent amount of food. Not a crazy amount of food, right? Certainly not a crazy amount of food, but a decent amount of food. Who's on food? Food, 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 food. Growing. There's a, bits of growing that need to actually be done. Kind of disappointing that they're not, but sure. And um, we'll start mining into, like... I think mining is the only way on this map. It's annoying. I kind of get bored of mining. It's a bit too easy. It's a bit what everyone does. I do like to maybe make compounds and stuff occasionally. But especially considering the locations of uh, some of the stuff on this map, I think that, you know, you won't really have a choice on this one. It's probably best to go mining. Oh, we did go for a mountain, and the mountain tends to mean you're going to be mining, so... You know, especially considering it's kind of more energy efficient because you can, you know, pump all your heat out, etc. It's probably a good bet. <sighs> yeah. We can make a temporary thing here and we can always expand that here if we need to. Problem is, the great thing about being outside is you can get really good growing air really nearby. But there's no growing area. It's all sand. It's all lame and sandy. That bit there's not too bad, but in general, it's pretty crappy. So we're going to be growing all along here and using as much of this dirt as possible. Ugh. Horrible. Horrible situation. So let's start digging a 20 deep down there. That's your new job. Enjoy. Uh, as for... Structures and walls and stuff. We could start with a nice wall. 
Steel wall. Build from here to here. Infection, okay. Here, here. Have them come in here and have a gun turret or something set up here, maybe. I mean, the other choice is to put a wall here, wall here, and then have them come in here and then set up a firing line here. But they have to be behind the crops, really. That might work better, actually. Okay, so... All there. All there. And we'll put a wooden door in for now. Because, you know, every time you put in a door and they attack, it instantly gets knocked down. It's not really the, uh, the longest lived part of your base. I'll actually move that over one. Maybe two? Yeah, two. And that'll help. And then we'll put in uh, a good old-fashioned uh, intermittent sort of crenellation type thing where we'll put like sandbag, wall, sandbag, wall, sandbag, wall. That tends to work fairly well and that should keep us, you know, okay for the very early game. Hopefully maybe with one turret as well. Medical infection, blah, blah, blah. Sick your health. Okay. More planting is needed. Also more power, apparently. <sighs> Fine, we'll get a solar plant. Uh, there, so we can get around to it to get rid of any fire. Group of visitors passing by. Sure. For them to annoy me. That is acceptable. Oh, it's now walled this area. Uh, sorry, roof this area. No, there should be a zone with no roof. Mainly because it's going to fall down and break and things will go bad. Um, where is it? Remove, add no roof region. There we go. Can we put one here? Yeah, we can. Uh, remove no roof region. There we go. Good. Back into the sunlight. Ooh, there's a sound to this now. That's kind of cool. How are we doing on food? Got plenty left. Once we get this up and running, I imagine we'll do a lot better for power. Maybe eventually we can, like, put a wall up here and then put a new defense area in or something. Hmm. And battery's getting charged. Good. Okay. This is working for us. Very nice. Very nice indeed. No training capacity any defenses. Yeah, I know. We'll come around to that. We'll come around to that. Um, what else do we need? We need some research facility. That way we can grow our own area of dirt. That way we can, you know, really expand on that. We can get geothermal power. There's so many things that would be really good for us. Uh, what is it under? What is it under? Also, steel improvised turret would be very nice. Um... Power it directly from the, the windmill. That works for me. Put it here to shoot them inside. Don't want to put it there because it will blow up the uh, the power and stuff. Like there, maybe. It's just far enough from the power. Like, I preferred it to be on the very edge of fire range, but... And to put it on the very edge of fire range, you're looking at putting it, like, uh, here or something. Hmm... I guess it's acceptable. That should help us defend, you know, fairly nicely. We'll keep mining this bit out for more metal. Is there any more metal around? Ah, hello there, metal. I like the new sound effects that sort of confirm the clicking. Chris, you're very slow. 
You're going to have a lot of fun getting over there. Flooring, flooring, flooring. We could put down some flooring to be able to get over there quicker. Just a small path or something. Hmm. Maybe we'll wait until we've got stone blocks for that, though. Stone blocks, again, another research topic we'd really like. Because it means that we don't have to, you know, use the very limited supply of wood. Or metal, which, you know, is useful for a lot of other things. I need to remove this. This is this is annoying cover. Uh, orders. All. There we go. Research bench. So that'll be under... Production. We'll make it outward. And we'll put it there for now. We can always dis, you know, dis, dis, dismantle it, disassemble it. We'll just diss it. We'll just diss it in the, in total. We'll just diss everything. Put it there. Temperature in there is 21, which is nice. Temperature outside is okay. Okay. I might decrease the temperature on the inside just so that if the power goes out for whatever reason, we should be okay. Although it's now on power usage high. I think it's because it's trying to pull it down. No? Okay, so what do you need? Power needed 200. If I increase the temperature... Oh, wow. Yeah, if I increase it to just 21, it goes down to 20 watts needed. That nah, fluctuates throughout the day. But if we put it at 21, then that's bearable. Okay. Might can increase that to like 25 or something if need be. But for now, that's fine. We can, we can manage that sort of power. Hmm... Research bench is now a thing. Our researcher is also in charge of crafting and hunting and naturally probably going to end up doing a lot of researching. Hopefully you will be eventually developed immunity. Cool. Eventually uh, recruited. Let's look at you, how you're thinking these days. Um, yeah, okay. We'll eventually get you. Oh, we're out of food. Okay, so that means we need to fill, unsuspend... Cook the meals. Cook all the meals. All of them. So I think what we'll do is we'll put a tiny little fridge in here. And we'll uh, dump our food into there. And we'll also put maybe the meals in there as well. And people can just go into the fridge and grab their stuff. That seems to be, a, you know, a decent solution for me. It won't be, like, a long-term fridge. Like, last time we had ridiculous amounts of fridge space, etc. And we had to have a lot of food in there for ages. But, you know, it'll be a reasonable amount of, you know, food fridge. We don't need to store food for a long period of time in this game. We've got an entire all-year-round growing season. It's like we're completely spoiled. Well, spoilt. That should be spoilt. My, my grammar is terrible. Apologies. Um, so what we'll do is we'll put one, which will be a door... Two, which will be a heat exchanger. And then that will be enough space to store a load of food and stuff. It's probably more than enough. Way more than enough. Actually, do we need to put two doors in to make it a bit more efficient? Yeah. So something like... That. Heat exchanger door. Door. Fridge. That should work. So let's lay some more pipe for power. Power, 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 power. Get to work. Get to work, people. Eating food. But, you know, also that. You spoil in... Eh, reasonable amount of days. The mining has started. Alright, so... Temperature. We want to put a cooler in here. Then we also want to put in... No, we need a research project. Okay, uh, we also need to put in doors. 
I think maybe a steel auto door is probably worth it. It will be fairly secure. But the thing is, you know, for now, I could probably go for like a wooden door and it'll be fine as well. We can always replace that later on. Actually, there's no point since wood is so short supply. I can use wood for other things. Let's cancel that. We'll use something a little bit better. Um, and we'll be going through the fairly often. So if we do go for like a steel door, it has to be a steel auto door. We could use a wood auto door. Maybe steel will be better at uh, keeping the temperature in, though. I don't know. And we also need power, 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 power. I'm hoping someone will actually, you know, bloody well do the doors. Oh, heat exchanger, fine. But, you know, the door's still getting no power. There we go. Another door. And then... It's getting power. Awesome. So the temperature inside, we want to be... We could just run it at fridge levels of power. Three degrees, rather than going sub-zero. This might, you know, really hit our power situation hard, but hopefully it won't. Ooh. What are you? Corn. I'll grab you. I'll grab you. Now you're fairly far away, but you know what? I feel like it. Not that we really need the food, but maybe we can sell it or something. I don't know. But we're going to end it here for today. For today's episode, Rimworld needs booze. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to remember to like and not subscribe, please consider subscribing. But until next time, stay shiny.